All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Manshu, and we are continuing our journey of understanding Apex through our Salesforce Developer Masterclass. This is use case 24, which says write a method to find the highest revenue contributing amount account. So we need to find the account that is the highest revenue generator. So for those of you who know about it, we have an annual revenue field on the account. And what we want to find out is which account has the maximum revenue. Right. So for those of you who have already understood what the use case demands, go ahead and write the co code, pause the video here and put your code on the comments so that I know that you have written it correctly. And for those of you who want to follow along, let's get started with this use case. This is going to be a very short one. Let's go to VS code and let's create our next Apex, Apex class, which is Apex use case 24. All right. And I'm going to create a method and I want to return an account record, right? Find max revenue generator. All right. This is not going to contain any method inputs or method params because I don't really need any input. I need to take a look at the account records and return the best performing account. Right. So if I need to take a look at the database, what do I do? Yes, I do a query. So I'm going to write a query on the account record. I'll say account records. And here I'm going to query ID from account. If you want more fields on the account record, you can put them here on comma separated. I'll just put name from account. Now, how do I figure out which is the highest revenue generator? Think about it and if you can please put a comment and write what do you think should be added in the query to be able to achieve it right so what we can do is we can put a where clause right no we don't need a where clause we need an order by clause what will order by do i can order my records based on the annual revenue field and i can use the desk operator so that my records are sorted in descending order of the annual revenue and i can limit one which means i will get the top record and that's it that's all you need to return you will always have one record in the list and that will be returned to the method all right and you only need to return this if account records dot size is equal to one you can return the zeroth index or else you can simply return null meaning you did not find anything from the database which has the highest annual revenue all right that was all from this particular use case let's give it a deploy let's take a look at how the method executes and what does it return so if i were to query this out on our developer console let's see what things look like since i need to print the annual revenue i'm putting it in the query and if you notice we have about 39 records out of which 10 or 12 have the annual revenue and looks like either this number or this number is the biggest right I, i'm not sure how many zeros are there but let's consider that one of this is going to be the winning result i believe right so let's take a look what am i going to do i'm going to execute my apex use case 24 and since i'm returning something from the method i'll put a system.debug so that i get it printed out okay and i don't need any, any method inputs and what is my method name the method name is find max revenue generator right i just need to execute this line the previous line was from the previous use case let's go ahead and say execute highlighted and let's see this is a compile find executed open the debug only and it is giving you this id which is sample account for entitlements which one is that this one oh wow this is wrong right because the annual revenue is does not even exist so why has it returned this account let's take a look select id comma name from account order by annual revenue desk limit one let's query this out and let's see what does this result in So it's giving us the sample account for entitlements. What if I put a where condition and I mention that the annual revenue value should exist only then use the order by what happens then the result changes, right? And if I were to take a look or rather 
deploy this here and say deploy the deployment failed somehow let's deploy it again okay I'm missing the bracket here bracket and then deploy this time it should deploy fine and now let's go ahead and execute this line one more time and let's see what is returned and this time the result is united oil and gas which is which is this record right here which is the highest one right as one extra zero I believe out of all so this is the record so what happened in the previous scenario is that null records were getting considered which is why the order by was not functioning properly it has to order by based on numbers but you, if you have a null value in it it might end up returning that record so it is very important that you check on your code that if you're using the order by clause you ensure that your data integrity is maintained so which is why we put this where clause here but our primary idea was to order by the annual revenue in descending order and limit the result to one because we wanted the highest revenue generating amount if this was the lowest generating we would have just removed the des descending keyword from here this would be sorted in ascending order of the annual revenue all right so that was our use case pretty simple pretty straightforward but when you look at the use case you, you might not be able to understand what is it trying to ask so it's very important to break down the keywords it's on the account record it's talking about the revenue it should be the highest so that gave me a hint I need to query the account object I need to like take a look at the annual revenue field and I need to sort it in descending order so that I get the highest record first and then I can debug and I can return it all right, cool. That was use case 24, short and sweet. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.